Hello and welcome to the Bristly Stranger. We're going forward to Year Zero, Mutant Year Zero. The apocalypse has happened, the ice caps have melted, disease has wiped out mankind, and nuclear weapons have got the rest. Why can't people just be content? Why do they have to fight each other? But out of the wreckage emerges the Ark, the only safe place largely inhabited by mutants. Individuals with special powers, no one remembers where they came from, but it's their job to help the Ark survive. They look for food or parts to keep things running, but unfortunately things won't be running. The Elder Geb are two heroes, Dux and Borman, a special mission. Find Hammond and bring him back. He's the gearhead that makes sure the Ark is running and he's gone missing. We found his cabin and he's headed north for some kind of machine that he thinks is from Eden. As far as Borman's concerned, Eden's a fairy tale. No need to go looking for it, but we have to go looking for Hammond. We found one of his companions, Selma. She got separated from him in a fight. Hearing weird voices, and got temporarily blinded. She's joined the search. Last time we got a few bits of good gear. We've got silence weapons with all three guys now. Silence weapons really are the key to this game. If you can take out the enemy without them reacting, all the better. We've just gone into the ominous sounding Cave of Fear. So let's rejoin our group there. So here we go. We're back in the Cave of Fear. It's like some kind of tunnel. Lots of stuff. We're just going to march through. We'll look for the bad guys. For a mass grave. What were all these people doing? Running away, I think. Maybe the Red Plague hit their town and they needed to evacuate. Evacuating or stampeding over each other to be the first one out. Dumbass ancients. So we'll carry on through uh, until we find an enemy. We uh, through, here right? we go. Right? They, uh, they ran away. Uh, I lost them. You let your stalkers escape? The bubbleheads are gonna be mad at you! You better get them back! I can't! The boat took them across the river! And now the bubbleheads have the boat? But where's your boat? If you don't get those stalkers back, they'll shrink your brain! Okay, so there are these three guys, but we did see one up ahead. Okay, you had me at the ghoul screams, but now a pile of friggin' bodies? You want to give me a heart attack? He's on his own, so he is going to be an easy target. We don't want him coming in on us when we're fighting the other three. He's only got eight health, so as long as we get a 100% chance to hit, we can just move in and take him down. Caught sneaking, but oh well. Kablam. <laughs> He's on fire as well, thanks to Dux's weapon. Well, let's just move right up, 100%. We've only got to do three damage, I think, and he's gone. Well, actually two, because he's on fire. Blam! Okay. You ain't half bad. Let's regroup. Uh, we'll have another scout around. I doubt he's the only one here. Get the gear as well, though. Molotov. Excellent. Oh, we've got another one up ahead. Let's get that loot. Some more loot over there. Let's take the guy out first. He is just a butcher. He's kind of guarding this way. Is that the exit? It might be. Alright, let's move up. 100% chance to hit. Blam. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, let's let Bormin have a shot. He can come in, shoot this guy. Excellent. Bullseye. So we've got some oh, more man, stuff. You are the uh -oh. Regrouping. More weapons parts. And yes, that is the exit. That is where Hammond is as well. Okay. We are gonna go back and check those three guys though, because that looks like a green thing. And that's either armor, weapon, or a helmet. Oh, there we go. And we've got a hunter, a medical bot, and a pyro. Do you know what? I think this is a good enough place to ambush them. Probably take some down. Yeah. Okay, 
what we will do with Selma first. She's quite far away. Okay, out of combat. We're going to move Selma more forward. Ambush from here. Technically, she's in cover. Uh, she has got 75%. But if she does her power, none of these guys will be able to move. And that sounds pretty good. So let's do that. They know we're there, but they're going to know we're there in a minute anyway. It's going to open fire. So, yeah. Uh, we, although Bormin's other gun does 6 damage. So if we move to here, is that 100%? Yes. But we can take this guy down. Although that guy's a pyro. So if we split up... If he's a pyro, cover's not going to matter, so that is a 100% chance to hit. Move to there. Should be enough of a split not to die. <laughs> yeah, 100%, yeah. He's down. They can have a go. They can't move because someone's locked them down. Medical bar. He can reach that guy. Oh. Okay, Selma here. has oh, got the fire. I'm wounded. Right, so we've got to stop this guy somehow. I think Bormin might be the guy for the job. If we do a hog rush on this guy, let's rotate the camera around. Yes, he will be stunned. Yes, and not able to res the other guy. We've still got the pyro to take out though. It doesn't matter against pyros. Okay, I'll have to use our rubbishy pistol. Critical 7. We could try and crit this guy. In fact, if we use our moth wings, we can rise up, get an added bonus for being above him, and use skull splitter, so we definitely do a critical. That's 7 damage. Flat. Drop back down. Selma can move up to there, that's 100%. She has still got a shot, she's going to take damage from the fire next turn though. We could do with a crit, but it's not going to kill him even if we do. There we go. He will be able to move now. He is doing, but he's only on four. So, um, we're not going to reload, we're going to switch. Can't get 100% on the pyro, but we can on the robot, so we will do. Shoot him. Blam! We only need 4 damage. Now, Dux's pistol does 4 damage, can we get 100% chance to hit him? No. no. Uh -oh. 75. In that case, we come to here and shoot the medical bot. Is that 75% as well? No, that's only 50 now. Okay. Should have checked whether Bormin could get him or not. The Bormin's only got 75 as well. Unless we use running gun. I like the sound of that. We can now move to here. Get a 100% chance. And blow him away. Oh, we are quite close though. And we've set ourselves on fire. Uh, that was amazing. <laughs> bit of a misplay. Okay, let us just shoot the robot that's stunned. Bingo. He's going to be stunned this round as well. Stung me with that. Damn it. A little bit of damage, so does Selma. If we can kill this guy though, he's going to regenerate. So let's just kill. Serves you right. No, not enough. We're going to have to get Bormin in. He's stood in fire at the minute. Yeah, that's okay. He's out of ammo as well. Okay, switch weapons. Take a shot. Oh, it's less damage because of the armor, but if we... It's only three damage. No, it's only two damage because of the armor, okay. But if we switch, reload, we still get another action, which can be shoot. Blam. Yes. Now, everyone should go back to half health. 
Excellent. Get a level up as well. Lovely. Let's switch the light back on and regroup. On. And hmm, tasty looking weapon. Let's get this open. Yes, a state switcher. It only does five damage though, but it's got range twenty. Wow. So this is effectively our sniper rifle. So we've got to kind of figure out who's going to be using it. So Selma, she can jump up to high places. She's got the hat at plus critical at high places. Dux has got the critical shot, but that has to recharge and can fly. That obviously gets him up high. I kind of like the idea of this. He's only got a crossbow though. Maybe we'll give it to Selma. Now we'll have a play around. Before we do though, let's collect up all the loot. There's quite a lot of stuff here, just scrap. Now what else have we got? Oh, scrap there, but a mere driver. Ah, plus two critical damage. Also 30% of knockback. Now this would be good with ducks. He has his 100% chance of critical, so this would be extra damage. We do have to go back to the workshop to do this. Do you know what? We'll take it for now. I'm going to loot the caves. I'll come back if we've missed an enemy, but I should imagine all the noise would have alerted somebody. We went live with guns. Yeah. I'll come back if we've got anything exciting. Finally, we out of this torture chamber. Okay, so we've Follow me. found a little bit of extra loot. 34 on the weapon parts. That's pretty good. We also found a horrible note from somebody that had been trapped in the uh, tunnel. Probably died. Ah! Judging from all the bodies, definitely died. I think what we're going to do though, is we are going to move on to the next part and then go back to the Ark to upgrade our weapons. So yep, here we are. This is the Sea of Titans. So we know that Hammond was brought this way. The crash site is in that direction. That's where Hammond was going. Rather than searching around yet, we're going to go straight back to the Ark now and try and upgrade our stuff. On the fast travel map, we can see that the House of Bones, yeah, that is where Hammond has been going to, that's where the crash site was. We have got an unexplored zone with a skull, level 35. Sounds a bit scary, maybe we won't go that way. But of course, we're just going to fast travel back to the Ark for now. Okay, no point going to Prips, I think we need two artifacts to unlock the next thing. We'll have a look in Aridia's shop. I don't think there's going to be anything new for us. And obviously we're going to go to Delta's fixed pit after that. But to Aridia's first. Ah, these are really something special. Found these up north in the hull of a ship. They're EMP grenades. Any machine within the blast radius shuts down immediately. I don't see many working machines nowadays though. EMP grenades. Excellent. So she's got a few bits. We've seen most of this. There's the EMP grenade. Hmm. Pyro armor. Absorbs fire. Slightly better than our stalker armor as well. I think we're going to buy this. EMP grenade. Disables robots. Are there are only medical robots. I don't think we're that bothered. I'm fairly sure there's some stronger ones later. But we don't have to waste our scrap now. Pyro armor. We've got to buy this. Is there anything else? Some scopes. Or light sticks. This gives you a bonus to aiming. It doesn't do any damage itself. But if there is a hard to hit target, you can chuck one of these and it gives everybody else a bonus to hit it. That sounds pretty good. But I don't think we're going to waste our scrap on that. We're just going to go for the pyro armor for now. Because that's pretty good. And that'll do for now. See you later. Until next time. Ah, and you ran into some pyro ghouls last run. Watch out for them. They got a love affair with firebombs dripping that stuff all over their faces. Stupid. Uh -oh. Spark a pyro ghoul in the right way, and you see them spontaneously combust. Boom! <laughs> Good times. Okay, Delta. Full of information as usual. We can upgrade weapons, but the silent ones. They're already upgraded, and they're going to cost 60. I think we just save up. More damage with these guys is going to be better. Now, 
we have got the increased range, and this had fire. If we increase the critical, that sounds better. Especially seeing as we can 100% critical with ducks. And who's going to get the fire? She's got the EMP. Let's put the fire on the needle pistol. It's an extra chance of taking people out silently. We're going to take it, obviously. That's about it, though. I don't think we're going to buy anything else. I think we'll just head straight back to the zone. Of course, one thing that occurred to me as we fast travelled back, I haven't re-equipped the gear. So, let's do that. Hmm, who gets burnt? Well, Selma got burnt last time. So, let's give the pyro armor to her. It ups her health slightly. Good stuff. And I think what we're going to do, we'll give her this long range gun. It's not quite as good on the criticals, and it's obviously got less ammo. But she has still got her silence pistol. This gives her a ranged option as well. Uh, pyro bomb, Molotov, even. And a grenade, yeah, we'll keep that. Uh, ducks, smoke grenade, not so keen on. Uh, instead of this stinger, we can do the scatter gun, though. It's more damage, more ammo. Well, same ammo as the scatter gun. But he's only got one shot with that, that gives him more. I'm going to swap out this one though. I've got a Molotov, and for the other one, let's go for a chem stick. That's bonus to hit, I like the sound of that. Bourbon, I don't think we've got anything to do with you. Mutation points, seven. And we have got Corpse Eater. Hmm. Now this is a bit of a cheesy skill. We can use it to take a foe down, and then if we're close enough to start combat, eat the corpse, heal Bormin, and completely safe, end combat, and he'll be healed up to full and we can reposition. So we're taking that definitely. We can kind of use it out of combat. It is an only usable in combat skill, but like I say, we can cheese it a bit. Ducks, ooh, six. Now uh, what have we got? We've got a passive for extra range. I like that. And we have got Circuit Breaker to stun... I'm not bothered about stunning robots. We have got the option of buying EMP grenades, I suppose. No, we'll go for extra range. It's passive, so it's always used. That means all three of his powers are activated. This one we'd have to swap out. I'll probably forget to do it. So, yeah. Selma. Nine points. So, she hasn't got a miner, and we've got run and gun, but we've also got contortionist. Cover counts as high cover. That's 50% chance to miss her. We do have to swap it for the jumping thing, though. We've not really been using that, so I think cover's better. Cover we use all the time. I'm gonna go for that. Three points. Another two, and we could get run and gun anyway. This taunt, I don't like the idea of everyone shooting at one of ours. So yeah, run and gun's the next thing, but we're two points away, so we'll just carry on. We don't want the health. Well, we do, but I want run and gun more. Okay, that's enough extemporizing about skills. Let's have a look around, see what we can find. There's not a lot here. Hammond told me he wanted to cross a big body of water to get to a place called the House of Bones. He said the crash site was near there. Uh, right, so we're going to somewhere called the House of Bones. We did see it on the map, so we don't want to... Ooh, a chest. What's in the box? Let's get this open. Kiss me quick, hat. The fertility crown. <laughs> okay, uh, plus 20% to crit when hidden. Hmm. Now, as soon as we attack, we kind of reveal ourselves. Kind of like the idea of this. Maybe we'll equip it to ducks, actually. He's immune to crits at the minute. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, so there we go. <laughs> Kiss me quick hat on a duck. Lovely jubbly. Let's get back to loot in this place. So, ooh. Something down there. Yep. Something right at the top of the map by the looks of it. Okay, ooh. Something over there as well. Nothing else about. Anything? No. 
Okay, what's this? It's a note. Okay, so the note is from Anton. He's another stalker from the Ark. So while they were up north, they found a strange artifact keeping cold, but it was sitting in an old place east of the House of Bones. Oh, we're going there. Which is in a permanent state of cold. The ancients are strange. So a fridge in a cold place. Okay. I agree with Anton. That's quite weird. Maybe we can look for that though. If it's an artifact, we can use that to unlock stuff with Prip. We need one more to get the next tier. So that would be useful. I think for now we'll carry on looting. Oh, I missed that. What's that? Medical kit. Excellent. Oh, we've got some stairs. I keep looking for dead duck bodies, but I never see one. Are we the only mutants in the zone? You're right. There are no mutants in the zone. I've been checking bodies ever since you mentioned it. It's Judgment Day, sinners. Obey me, and that? your soul will be saved. Ah. ah! Making my head spin. Did you hear that? I heard the same voices when me and Hammond got ambushed. Okay, so Selma has fought this guy before. Now it's the person that ambushed Hammond. So maybe he knows where Hammond is. But we've got a locked door. We need a key. We obviously can't get through it yet. Looks like there's a box over there. And definitely some scrap, maybe. Anything else around here? There we go. Uh, no ghouls as yet. Now ghouls in the book only come out at night. But this looks dark enough for ghouls to me. Carry on. Uh, ooh, there's somebody over there. Ghouls popping up everywhere. Well, Check that guy out. You see him? Head like an infected mushroom. You think he's leading the ghouls? Wait a minute. That's the guy who attacked me and Hammond. Oh, another guy coming. I think Hammond recognized him, but that was the last thing I remember. Okay. He's one of the Nova sect. I heard stories about them. Bogeymen with big heads. Didn't think they were real. Bet he's real enough to take a bullet, though. Okay, we'll just wait for that dialogue to end, and now we can take this guy out. I think what we're going to do, rather than attacking all these guys, we've got Corpse Eater now as well. So if we take this guy out without alerting these ones, Borman can eat his corpse, because that's a brave hero thing to do. Let's move in. He's still hidden. Oh, he's not. Okay. That would have been a bonus to crit. Does that hurt? Hopefully he's not too near. No, they've not heard anything. As long as we kill him straight away, which if we get 100% we are going to. She's got a fire. Uh, it's because she's fireproof now. Excellent. Uh, take this guy down, though. Ow. They have not heard. Yeah. Now that Excellent. was a good kill. So we will get the light off. Switch to Borman. Uh, we need to gather around the ship, my children. Your destiny awaits. We believe, Reverend. We believe. Yeah. Hear my voice so they within turned your the ghouls heads. into religious the arc zealots. calls you ghouls, but yeah, you don't are okay. beautiful. You we'll are children that. What we doing that? We're of the ancients. Corpse eater. Might the unbelievers destroy the ark. Right, so to change our powers, it's the same as changing equipment. We do it from here. We've got this one active. We want this one. We change it over. Three kills to recharge, that's fine. Yeah, if we use it yeah. now in combat, one, we stop the ghouls shouting at us, two, we can just move to here, which is in cover, eat this guy, we're not going to trigger mm. these ones, mm. but this will put Vormin to full health, which obviously, if we're going into a big fight, will be super useful. Now we can just press F to leave combat. And everybody walks off. Can we get round this way? Oh, let's take hey, back over up. here. Got some scrap. This is the boat. What an incredible piece of junk. At least it floats, right? So, is there a back way on? 
We've got somebody up there. Can we possibly take him out? He can't see us. Let's try. So, what have we got to hit him from here? 75%. That's not too bad. Uh, let's just take a shot. Yes, we've only got to hit him once with the others. So, ducks. We're going to save you, Selma. If you move in, 75. Ducks has got his wings, so he can fly up and hit the guy. So, Selma, 75%. That's one less. Okay, we can sneak around and take all of the guys out. That's going to be much better. Come on. There's no one down here. Oh, there's no back way. Okay, we've got a bit of scrap though. Let's head back. I tell you what, we'll jump ahead when I'm in a better position. Okay, so the Novasec guy, he's over there with a pyro. This Marauder's on his own though, so let's take him down. He's only got eight health. It's an easy kill. Just move up. It doesn't matter if we get caught sneaking. He's on his own, so he's not going to stand up to the firepower. <laughs> Who's next? Bormit. Again. Yeah. Move up. Take this guy down. Blast. <laughs> he's caught by. I'm Bormin. Excellent. Ooh. I'll regroup. Follow me. Level up as well. Not entirely sure that was anything good. We are going to have another walk round, scout the area, make sure we're not going to get ambushed by anybody during the attack. Ah! So we've got another couple of guys up here. They don't like the Brain Boys any more than we do. This guy's coming out though, so maybe we can take him without his friend finding out. Uh, yeah, that looks a fair distance. What we are going to do, if we move up to cover, then if the other guy is alerted, he's not going to see us anyway. So we in. Now we haven't got our stun thing activated. That's fine. Uh, yeah, 100% from there, and cover. That guy's not alerted, so that's okie dokes. So, yeah, he's down. The other guy. Serves you right. I hated that. Uh -oh. Has not seen us. Excellent. So, regroup. Get over Now here. we have to take him. If we can get a critical on him, we can somehow take him out. Hmm. I don't really want to go loud up here, but actually we've got Dux's power. Do you know what? I'm going to switch the knockout power, Hog Rush, back on with Bormin before I forget. Dux has got his power, so if we ambush from here, he can do Skull Splitter, which is 100%, but of course it's not a 100% chance to hit unless we use Moth Wings as well to fly above the target. With the extra damage, that will be 100% chance of 8 damage. That means he is dead. He's on 8 health now. Now we do 10 with the other two on silent mode. So as long as we're on 100% chance to hit, he is dead. Loving it. Okay. There's one. Four men, you get the job to finish him off. Grenade on that table. Lovely. Free grenades. I like them. And a critical as well. Loving it. Sleep it off. Cleanly okay. done. Regroup. We'll loot this area. Another level up. Do you know what? I think that's enough to get Selma's new power. We've got another mod though. Excellent. I don't think we're going to go back to Delta's workshop just for this. It's tempts an extra to crit. Pretty useful. Let's get the grenade. I'll have a look around for more loot. Uh, that's something over there, actually. Yeah, valuable scrap. I don't think there's anything else. The Novasec guy is just down there, but he can't see our torch at this range. No, there's nothing else. 
moving in on these guys. We could hog rush the boss. Kind of like the idea of that. He's going towards us. Can we cheese this? Whoa. <laughs> uh, actually, he goes over the other side. So if he goes away from us, we can sneak onto the boat and take the others out. That I like the idea of. Uh, off we go then. Nothing to see here. No one sneaking. Oh, we've got a sect butcher coming. Okay, we may have to... There's a hunter coming as well. If we can take them out... He's gone. He's gone. Can we take this guy out? No. He's got too much health. Alright, we're going to back off. Assuming this goes all right. Ah! There we go. Oh, we escaped. Phew. So we needed to wait for him to go away. Do you know what? I'm going to do just that. We're not going to sit here and watch me waiting, though. I'll jump ahead to a better position. Okay, so the butcher and the hunter have gone away. The hunter's coming back, though. Oh, we may have trapped ourselves. Right. Got no choice now, we've got to take this guy out. So, can we do it quietly? Not without getting a critical. And unfortunately we've already used Skull Splitter, okay. Right. This may have cost us. We're now trapped. We have to rely on a critical. Okay, we've got a few chances to get it. Let us just have a go. With Selma first, she can fire from hidden. More chance of a critical. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, no. Bormin is still hidden. He's got more chance of a critical too. No, let's have a go. We're not in cover. Oh, he didn't get it. He is on fire though. So he will die. Selma, no ducks. He's the last one left. Got no choice. 100%, and the burn will kill him. I think we have just <laughs> cheesed. Fun. It. No, the other one's heard us. And he's shouting his mates. Okay. He's running in as well. We'll kill you real good. What about the other ones? Did they hear us? Yes. Okay, well, that's fine. Have some of my juice. I don't want your juice. <laughs> He's boosted the butcher. Wow, that's a ton of armor. Uh, but he has burnt his buddy. Okay. I'm bleeding here. Okay, what we're gonna do? We are gonna come back this way. Bormin is going to nut this guy. That might even get rid of that boost. I don't know. We'll find out. No, it hasn't. Okay. But he is stunned now. The Butcher has only got seven health, but he's got three armor now. Hmm. Okay. He's a melee unit, so there's no real hiding from him. If we come to here, we can start on Pyro. not got a lot of health. Okay. Let us shoot the pyro. Might get him down. That had to hurt. Gotta start working on him, if nothing else. Okay, Selma is not on fire. She is next to this guy. Oh, if we'd have unlocked run and gun, we could have tree huggered him and ran away. <laughs> Mistakes have been made. Okay. Right. In that case, I think what we're going to do... This guy's down. He's not going to attack us. This guy's got to reload his grenade. This guy, if we tree hugger him... Uh, he can't be tree huggered at the minute. Ah, he could. Okay. We're going to move away first. Let us move away from our pals as well, though. Because we don't want to be pyroed. Although she's immune to it. Right, yeah. Let's move to there. We will tree hugger this guy. There we go. 
why it won't let us do it down there. But he's melee only, so it stops him getting us. So he just has a shout. The pyro moves about, gets the green out. That hurts. Uh, this guy's still knocked out for a turn. Okay. So if we get Bormin, actually. Get his big shotgun thing. Move to here, that's a hundred percent on the pyro. Big hit, if you please. Kablam. It's a critical. And that is four more damage to kill him. Mm-hmm. As long as we don't get too close. We need a hundred percent on him though. Okay. Selma, where are you? You can't get a hundred oh you can from there. But the butcher's are probably gonna get you. Alright. Let's take out the pyro first. He's dead. And explode. Lovely. This guy. Not gonna be able to take so. He can insta-kill ducks. So if we move to here, he might not get him, and we can shotgun the leader. I like the idea of that. Ooh, we could crit him. Auto crit, 8 damage. That would have took this guy out. Oh well. We are... we're going to use it. We're going to moth wings as well to make sure we 100% it. And then we're going to Skull Splitter to do that extra damage. Oh! Only six because of the armor. But we're wearing him down. He's still stunned for a turn, I think. Selma's nearly gone. Uh, this guy has still got a lot of health, though. Okay. Um, could kill him going to get up next turn. don't think we can kill him though. Let us just work on him. If we move to there, move to there, we're in cover from the other guy. I don't know if that is a thing. Let us blast this guy. Takes him down to two, so we need to do five damage to kill him. I believe Selma is out of ammo, but she is in cover. So if we reload and have a shot, 100%, yes, he's gone. Serves you right. And not too shabby. Oh, did we already go with ducks? Yes, we did the critical hit, didn't we? Uh oh, okay. Uh, he ran over there. Tree hugger is not going to help us that much. Gotta move in. We've only got a 25% chance. Uh, what about grenade? Set him on fire. Blow up his cover. Hmm. I like the idea of both of those. Let's see what other options we've got. We need one more kill to stun. Bormin has got run and gun though, so we've got no ammo. Switch gun. Not one ammo. If we run and gun, we can move further, spread our guys out, try and get to here. Is that cover? I think so. 75% chance to hit though. That's 100. Not in cover. Alright, we want Bormin to take the attacks anyway. He's got better armor, he's got more health. Let's take a shot. Excellent. We set him on fire as well. 15 health. Um, ah. Dux is down. Missed that and he bleeds out in one turn. In that case, Selma, you've got to get him up. We don't want Dux to die. There is permadeath in here, so Dux would be 100% dead in that case. Um, that is completely out of range though. And that needs reloading. Okay. We can't do much. Let's reload the crossbow. And 
cover. Let's do Overwatch, actually. Overwatch. Be gone Take some from fire here, damage. demons! What was that? Oh, stung me with electric that damage. Uh, he's down to one health and on fire, so he's gonna die. Right. We do need to move up. Still gonna be out of range. Okay, let's move to there. Let us Molotov him? Yeah, sure, why not? Excellent. Does do. Well, it sets him on fire, if nothing else. Selma is gonna die if she is hit again. Uh, cannot move close enough, really. Do you know what? Let us heal up. And then we can move closer. Yeah, let's go to there. We're out of range, but we can move in next time. Bormin, you're out of ammo. You're gonna die. Let's get a heal on with you as well. I don't think you've got any ammo with either gun. Yeah, let's reload the big blasty one. He's taking two I will fire damage. Cast Excellent. you down. <laughs> okay. Good job we healed, or else he would have been dead. Something. Um. Do you know what? Let's not move. Let's reload the other gun. Switch back to the big blasty gun and shoot that one. Hundred percent chance to hit. He is now on eight. Right, ducks, 50%, 25%, 100%, that sounds better. It's only five damage though, down to three. Ah! We have got to do a bit more damage, he's still taking two burn damage though. So can we get in with her? 50, that's 100, 10% crit. Has the other weapon got better crit? No, only 10%. And does less damage. We'll fire the ancient pistol. Is the fire going to be enough? It is! Oh, we've done it. Wow. That was close. We leveled again. Let's have a look at what we've got. So we have got six points with Selma. We could have used run and gun with her. I'm gonna unlock that. That's so annoying. One point available. We could go for more health, or we could save up for more skills. Twitch shot. That's pretty good. Nothing with ducks. Nothing with Borman. But we're only two points off Twitch shot with him. That would be good. I have to remember that. Okay, I'm going to move around, regroup. Regroup. We'll get the loot. EMP grenade. Excellent. We heard about those. Molotov. Now we do have to re-equip one of those. Smoke grenade, not so bothered. Uh, I'll come back if we find any tasty loot. So right at the other end of the map we've found another exit and there is a note by it. And the note is from Stalker Kali. You want to keep your face? Avoid the north. Northern Ghoul tribe is planning something huge. The lair of the horned devil. Now, when we found the fallen angel, painted on one of the rocks was a horned skull. Is this the same tribe? When we looked at the map, it was a skull with level 35, so I think we are going to keep away from there for now. I do want to keep my face. So we're on the boat now. We have found the control key. Now that was for the locked door we found earlier. Excellent. But just over here, is a purple glow which normally means an artifact. It's a power brick. Yeah, it's a car battery. Let's see what our mutants think it is. Hey, I've seen these before. You need to lick the top to see if it still works. The ancients used these to run lights and machines. Prip will give us a good deal on this one. It still holds power. Ducks, don't play with that thing. We're bringing it back to Prip. I can't feel my tongue. Hey, it's not funny. 
Okay. That gives us two artifacts now. So, if we go and see Prip, we can unlock the next thing. That sounds pretty useful. Before we do, I'm not going to move on. I am going to unlock that door, though. We'll see what it is. Hopefully, something good. Okay, here we go. Use the control key. We're through. There's some kind of TV there. I think that's just parts. Yeah, eight scrap. What's in the box? Now, let's get this opened. And it is pyro armor. Excellent. This will allow us to upgrade the other guy. It's ducks, I think. So that will give him a little bit more health, but more importantly, absorbs fire damage. That is super useful. If only when we kill the pyros when we're standing next to them. Keep doing that. But we're going to take this, we'll equip it with ducks, and then I think we're going to head back to the Ark, see if we can upgrade stuff. We have got a spare weapon, and we've got 59 weapon parts. It was 60 for the next upgrade, so that's definitely what we're doing. So yeah, there's the uh, unexplored location. That's where the Horned Dry Bar, level 35. Certainly don't want to go there. We've still got this level 25 one. We're level 18, so we're getting closer. But for now, we're just going to fast travel back to the Ark. Nova Sect. So close to our borders. This is troubling. I should have known. Where the Gauls come, the Nova Sect follow, as they say. If you're a Gaul, you think the Nova Sect is a dedicated group of priests trying to cleanse the world of evil. This is not accurate. The Nova Sect is a psychotic death cult who are trying to destroy the Ark and everyone in it. Their leader, Plutonia, knows we cannot be swayed by her lies. We are not followers, and she hates those who do not follow. The zone is like a warm radiation bath that turns brains into rice pudding. But by hook or by crook, the Nova Sect prosper in the zone. The radiation has actually blessed or cursed their minds with special gifts. They can get inside your head, put horrible things inside. Make sure they don't get inside your heads, stalkers. Okay, so we learn a bit more about the Nova Sect there. They are using the ghouls. They're pretending to be some kind of religious leaders. They're not pretending they are religious leaders to some of the ghouls. No change there then, people using religion as an excuse to be rubbish to each other. The Novasec, we hear a little bit more about them. They've got special powers as well. We saw that the Novasec leader, he boosted up that butcher, giving him armor and lots of extra damage most probably. Wanted to stay away from that. But also he zapped us with electrical powers. That nearly killed Bormin. So in future, we'd probably want to bring those down straight away. So we did get a bit more information from the Elder, but that wasn't the reason we came back. We need to upgrade our weapons, maybe buy some more gear. Let's go and have a look at that. Survive and persevere, my brave stalkers. So we've got the artifacts now. So prime place is Prip's place. Let's go to the bar. Have a seat. Mutants get a discount. So we've got a couple of options. Technophobe, damage against machines, that's not really come in yet. Blastmaster, grenade damage up by four. I think they do four damage anyway. So that would be eight damage from a single target to everyone in an area. Sounds pretty cool. Improved health plus three HP. I'd rather not use the health kits. I've got five left. I think we're going to go for the grenade. Yeah, that sounds pretty brilliant. Eight damage from a single grenade. It is a consumable, but then again, so are the first aid kits. Next thing's coming up, EMP zapper. So the EMP grenades do more. Well, that's good, but they're not really coming in anyway. 
and of course Ranger would definitely want but that's three points away so another three artifacts before we can get anything good but for now we'll see you later Prip have a swell time out there we'll poke our nose in see if Aridia's got anything new for us way north of here I mean way north there is a place that was once the grub hall of the ancients Ancients came from far and wide to eat their special god grub at this place. Grub gave them their powers. Want to know what they call this place? Pizzeria. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I love pizza. It gives me my powers. Unfortunately, nobody appreciates those powers. I'm lactose intolerant, and you can guess the rest. Uh, looking at the gear, though, we've not really got anything. Super one grenades though uh, I'm not sure how many we've got in stock might get some more of them let's have a look really we want to start upgrading our weapons so we want to save our scrap for that maybe so on our gear I forgot to do the best so let's do that before I forget again we've got a space for a grenade we've got one we've got a couple so we'll give him one of those actually let's take this chem stick out and put a molotov in there I think the fire lights people up anyway, and it also does ongoing damage. So they've all got grenade and molotov now, and the grenades, instead of doing four damage, do eight. Super powerful. Probably going to use that in the future. Save it for as a get out of jail free card. Don't think we've got any more stuff to do here. Let's upgrade the weapons. And of course, upgrading weapons, we do that at Delta's Fix Pit. Ghouls are one thing, but the Nova Sect are on a whole other level. They're some strange cult that promises the ghouls eternal whatever, as long as they work as their slaves. They say they hear the voices of the ancients. Eh, well, maybe they do. Years of breathing that zone air gave the Nova Sect telepathic powers. At least, that's what I heard. Okay, more information on the Nova Sect. So, we've not quite got enough weapon parts. We've got to dismantle the weapon. We've got a spare stinger though. So we can dismantle that. 11 parts, yes. And that we've got 70. So I think with the pistol maybe? Yeah, Selma's pistol. We'll upgrade that. It now does 6 damage. The other bits are a little bit upgraded, but not much. We've got our critical range increase though. She has got a long range weapon. This does increase the range. You know what? Let's put the critical thing on. She's got a choice for long range with her other weapon. Uh, this thing is really short range, so we'll put the scope on that. That's the critical. I've not swapped them over. Brilliant. Try that again. There we go. And the scope on here, that puts its range up to 10. Excellent. Gives Borman a little bit more range with the shotgun. But that's all we've got for now. So we say goodbye to Delta. And I think that is a good place to say goodbye as well. So if we leave it there, we have cleared out the boat. We've now got a clear route to go through to the House of Bones. That's where we think Hammond is. That's where the crashed machine was that we think is from Eden. Well, we don't think. Hammond thinks it is. Borman's convinced. Eden isn't real. So I hope you're enjoying it. Hope that the Elder's long explanations aren't too long for everyone. There's such a wealth of history and background to this game. I love it. If you're loving it too, don't forget to drop us a like. I love that. And subscribe to keep up to date. But for now, I've been the Bristly Stranger. Thanks for watching and goodbye. Have a swell time out there.